if you're anything like me, then I know you don't enjoy watching a lifeless image talking for hours on end. And that's why in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple way to create a fully responsive AI avatar that you can use across multiple projects. Now, this is going to be a very packed tutorial, so feel free to grab a pen and paper and let's get right into it. So the first thing that you're going to need is an image of your avatar. Now, I'm assuming you already have an avatar that you want to use, but if you don't have one or don't even know how to create one, don't worry. This video right here will show you a fail-proof method of how to create one, and I'm going to leave the link to it in the description box below. So now that you have your avatar, let's get right into step one. So we'll start by going over to Design AI. So once you're here, the tool that you need is the Image to Video tool. So you're going to click on this one right here. So once you click on it, this is the page that you're going to see. So the good thing with Design AI is that it gives you access to a lot of models. As you can see right here, there's Clean, there's Pixvast, there's Minimax, there's Runway, there's Luma Labs, and there's even one. So beside each of the models, you'll see the number of credits that you're going to consume. For this particular task, I always like using Clean 1.6 Pro because the results are always really good and the chances of having to repeat the generations are very, very low. Now, once you've selected the model that you want to use, the next thing that you need to do is to upload the image of your avatar. So I'm choosing Clean 1.6 Pro. The next thing, I'm uploading my image from right here. So that is the start frame. And if you want to have an end frame, then you only need to have this button on. So now let me upload my image. So this is the image that I'm going to use for this particular task. Once the image has been uploaded, the next thing that you need is a prompt. So you need to direct the AI on how to animate your avatar. In this particular case, our avatar is in presentation mode. So that is exactly what we need to input in our prompt. So I want this avatar to be talking while looking straight into the camera. And at the same time, I want her to be making very subtle movement with her hands, like she's demonstrating something. So I'm going to input that particular prompt right here in the prompt box. So you can just pause the video and look at the prompt that I just input. Once you're done with your prompt, the next thing that you need to do is choose the duration of your clip. So I always prefer choosing 10 seconds because that way I don't have to keep generating a lot of videos. So once everything is set up just the way you want, now all you have to do is click on the generate button and your task will be submitted and it will take around 5 to 10 minutes for the entire generation to be completed. So we'll give this a couple of minutes and I'll be back once the video is ready. So here we are, the video is ready. Let me just download this. So as you can see, the quality of this video is really good. You can see our AI avatar is very calm, very collected, and the gesturing is really good. Now we are going to extract the very last frame of this video. And to do that, we'll go over to this website right here, and you're going to click on select video. Then you're going to upload the video that we just downloaded. So once the video has been uploaded, what we need to do is extract the very last frame of this video. And to do that, we are going to place the cursor right at the very end, close to the very end. That way we are going to get the very, very last frames of this video. And what we need is the very last one. Now I'll click on the extract button and this is going to extract the very last frames starting from the point where we placed the cursor. So what you need is the very last frame. So I'm going to download it. As you can see, the quality of the extracted image is really, really good. But if you want, you can always go ahead and enhance it further. There's no problem with that. Now, once you have your image, we need to go back to Design AI. And this time, we are going to upload the image that we just extracted. So that is going to serve as the very first frame of our next video. By doing this, you're going to have a very smooth transition between the two videos. And it's going to be almost impossible for someone to tell that they are actually two separate videos. Now, you may realize that the more you repeat this process of extracting the very last frame of your videos, some of the facial characteristics of your avatar may start to change. 
To prevent that, you're going to start using an end frame after every 15 to 20 seconds. So this will make my video trade at 15 seconds right now. So I'm going to use an end frame for this. So the end frame is going to be the very first image that we used, our very original image. So once you've uploaded both the start frame and the end frame, the next thing that you need to do is input the prompt of how you want to animate this part of the video. Now you can get as creative as you want. You can have the character walking around. You can have them typing on the keyboard. You can have them working on the laptop. So you can literally have your character doing anything. You just have to input that in your prompt. Now videos that have an end frame can only be five seconds long. So I'm going to choose the five seconds this time and then I'm going to generate with that. And again, I'm just going to fast forward to the part where we already have the video. So the second video is ready. I'll just download it. Now, this is the very first video that we generated. And I'm just going to play the very second part of that video. The second part is the clip that we just generated right now. And as you can see, the two integrate really, really smoothly. Now you're going to repeat this process over and over again until you've generated all the clips that you need for your entire video. Again, if your video is going to be very long, it does help to use the 10 second option. That way you don't have to keep generating countless video clips. So once you've generated all the video clips that you need, the next thing that you need to do is download each and every one of these clips. It does help to stay organized so that you know how the clips are supposed to follow each other. You can rename them so that it's easier for you in the next step. So I have downloaded my video clips. Now let's go over to step two. Now let's jump over to CapCut and you're going to import all the video clips that we just downloaded. So once all the video clips have been imported, the next thing that you need to do is rearrange them in order. If you named your downloads in order, then this part is going to be very easy for you. Now we are going to play our video clips just to make sure that the transition from one clip to the next is very smooth. So this is the very first joint. So as you can see, the transition there is very, very smooth. So this is the second one. As you can see, the transition is actually very, very smooth. Now you can apply transitions if you like, but it's not necessary because all the clips fit together to form one very smooth video. Now, if your video is very long, you can loop the clips over and over again until you have the length of video that you want. Once that is done, we are going to create a compound clip and then we are going to just export it as it is. The third step is all about lip syncing our avatar. Now, I'm going to use a short clip to demonstrate two AI tools that are very good at this. The first AI tool lets you lip sync videos that are up to 30 seconds long. And the other one lets you lip sync videos that are over 10 minutes long. The first AI tool is speaks verse. So what you need to do is click on the speech option. Once you do that, you'll be able to upload your video from here and your audio from this button right here. So let's upload our video. So I'm just going to upload the video that I got from CapCut. Then I'm going to upload an audio file. Your audio file can be generated through 11 labs or you can record it yourself. Once both have been uploaded, all you need to do now is click on the create button. This is going to take literally seconds to generate. Now, just look at this lip sync video. Pixverse AI definitely does a way better job at this than most big names out there. So that right there is Pixvas AI. As you can see, the quality of the lip sync is really, really good. Now, if you're generating short lip sync videos, you can totally use Pixvas AI very easily. But if you're generating longer videos, the tool that you're going to need is Sync Labs. So once you're on this page, you're going to upload your video from right here. And once your video has been uploaded, the next thing that you need to do is upload your audio file. So you're going to upload your audio file from right here. So let me just choose my audio file again. Once that is done, all you need to do now is hit the generate button. Now the amount of time that it's going to take for your lip sync video to be generated obviously depends on how long your video clip is. So let's play this one and see how it turned out as well. Now, just look at this lip sync video. Pixverse AI definitely does a way better job at this than most big names out there. Well, as you can see, both tools are actually really, really good. 
So that's how you create a fully responsive AI avatar for your projects using AI tools. Now I'll leave all the tools that I mentioned in the description box below. So make sure to check them out. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Until next time, bye-bye.